Hello and welcome to Lake News Now on KRMS TV 32. I'm Matt Markovy. Today's top stories. Osage Beach firefighters hit the water to stop an out of control, partially sinking pontoon boat circling around with its occupants holding on for dear life. The event unfolded Tuesday around noon near Backwater Jacks. Firefighters were able to reach the boat and kill the motor, ending the drama. The occupants of the boat were then given a lift back to where they are staying. The Osage Beach Fire District is also hoping to learn the identities of the two assisting jet skiers so they can be formally recognized for their help. And some city staff in Lake Ozark could soon find themselves working in Osage Beach or in the unemployment line. The city is looking into cutting the police dispatch operations and entering into an agreement with the Osage Beach to provide those services. Such a consolidation would call for paying Osage Beach $120,000 to provide the dispatch services with the possibility of a 5% service increase fee beginning in 2025. The agreement, according to figures presented to the Board of Aldermen Tuesday night, is projected to save Lake Ozark about $250,000 a year. Current dispatch employees are being offered a severance package and will have the chance to interview for a position with Osage Beach. And high temperatures topping the triple digit mark and heat indices ranging from 105 to 110 will plague the lake for the next few days. A heat advisory has been issued for the lake area and much of the region with no rain in sight over the long term forecast. Emergency management officials are stressing the usual precautions and to take advantage of cooling centers if needed. The heat advisory will extend through at least 9 p.m. on Friday. And that's your Lake News Now. I'm Matt Markovy.